So what is church planting? Well, before we even get there, what is church? I mean, when you think of church, you probably think of a building with a stage, a greeter passing out bulletins. Maybe your church has those chairs that like hook together on the bottom and have that little communion cup holder sort of thing. Anyway, that is a church, but it's more of a lowercase c church. The church, the capital C church, is the entire body of Christ followers throughout the world and history. And this capital C church has some universal characteristics, like across the board, things that define them as the people of God. Things like they follow Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. These are God-worshiping, spirit-filled creatures in Christ. So as a missionary goes out, they are usually sent by their local church, but the goal is not to replicate their local church in another context. The goal is to build up believers that are an authentic part of the capital C Church. How does that start? With discipleship. With the simple approach of building relationships that introduce people to Jesus. It doesn't require Bible degrees and formal pastoral training because churches are started and carried along by regular people who are disciples of Jesus. If you can make a disciple, you can plant a church. So if this missionary heads to Africa and through relational discipleship a group of believers is formed, they aren't going to try to teach them how to pass out bulletins and create their own church logo. That's just an American lowercase c way of doing church. But what this group of believers will display are those characteristics that transcend culture. They will be those worshiping, spirit-filled new creatures. But at the same time, they will be authentically African. Their gatherings will look African, the Bible will be shared in culturally relevant ways, and even their worship will have an African flair. And as a result, this local church will be familiar, understandable, and approachable for the local people. And that's the goal of cross-cultural church planting, to train up a group of local believers to follow Jesus in their cultural context, where the missionary eventually becomes obsolete because the locals can take that baton and begin to share the gospel with their own people. The book of Revelation paints a picture of people from every nation, all tribes and peoples and tongues standing before the throne of God in worship. This is the vision that drives cross-cultural church planting. It's not to send missionaries to other cultures in order to teach them how to be American, or even how to do church like their own local community. It's to see countless groups of believers from every nook and cranny of the earth, singing out their praises to God in their own heart language. Thank you.